Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so very happy to have you guys here as always. Okay, yeah, if you are new here, you're very much welcome. My name is Goli, and here I share most sit down videos. Okay, I share tips, ideas, tricks, and a lot more, especially when it comes to our health. So, you're very much welcome. Consider hitting the subscribe button. Okay, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. So, if you know, start when I upload a new video, you're very much welcome. All my son subscribers, thank you so much for being here. Is Christmas season. Hope you are enjoying. Hope you are loving each other. Hope you are celebrating the season with love. Okay, and share what you have with others. It is the season, and I love the season, especially when it comes to December. Okay, it's my best month, so I always, I always love the season. Yeah. <laughs> so today guys we are going to be talking about something very interesting okay especially if you're trying to conceive and you have irregular periods we are going to be talking about how you can track your irregular periods to be able to take in successfully okay and I'll, i will also show you guys or tell you guys how you can calculate your sequel so if you have been wondering you have been wondering you're not sure of how to calculate your sequels to know how many days sequel you have when to avoid um pregnancies if you are trying to avoid it or when to play along so that you can be able to take in this video is for you because everything about all this will be explained and a lot more so continue watching yeah let's get into the video the first thing i want to talk about is how you can calculate your secrets okay yes but before we get into that i should tell you guys that you should know that spam okay will stay up to five days okay before it can die off yes you should know this keep this at the back of your mind that sperm can stay in a woman's body up to five whole days before it can die off but you should also know that it is not all sperm that are like that okay yes there are sperm that are so weak that doesn't have enough good quality they are going to die off easily might even die up in two days or even three days and you should also know that your released egg okay will stay only for 24 hours you have only but 24 hours to be able to take in after 24 hours that cycle is gone for good you cannot take in again for that cycle so you have only but 24 hours to be able to take in with that being said let's get into how to calculate and know your cycle how to know your sequel because in this channel i keep saying as a woman we should understand our sequel so that you get over it okay you'll be able to rule everything that happens okay yes so how do you calculate your sequel you don't calculate your sequel from the day you saw your message because i've seen someone saying this from the day you saw your message to the last day you saw the next message that's not how you calculate your sequel you calculate your sequel from that day you saw your sequel that is day one okay even if you are flowing for seven days, it does not what we are after. We are calculating from that day you saw your period to the next day you are seeing your period. That is not the end of the cycle. You are going to stop a day before the next cycle. Let's say, for example, you saw your period this December second, and you are going to you are seeing the next period January, or let's say December thirtieth. Let me use this. You saw your period. 2nd of December and the next one you're seeing it on 30th of December Okay, now 2nd, 3rd, 4th Until 29th of December is your sequel. Okay, that is 28 days ago If you calculate from 2nd to 29th of December, that is 28 days and that means you have a 28 day cycle Let me give you an, another example. If you, ha you saw your cycle on 1st of January and you're seeing the next one on 31st of January. Then you are going to start calculating from 1st January to 30th of January. That is the last day of your cycle. And that means you have a 30th day cycle. I hope I'm now making sense. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So if you know, this is how you, exactly how you should calculate your cycle. So you know, now when you are asked how many days cycle do you always have, you say you don't know. You don't even calculate it. It's very easy, okay? You just calculate from that day you are seeing, the first day you are seeing your cycle to the last day before the next cycle. That is your cycle, okay? Now, if you have irregular periods, that is why we are here, okay? How do you know when you are fertile? How do you know when you are ovulating? Because it's something that is so, so, so important, okay? And how do you know when you are the last day of your uh, fertile days, okay? 
let's see how do you know the beginning of your fertile days the day of your ovulation and the end of your fertile days okay how do you know this first you should understand your cycle so by understanding it that means you will calculate this calculating of your cycle that i just talked about calculate it for good six months that will give you what exactly is how your cycle is looking like so write it down if you uh, let's say you saw your january own write it down if it's 21 day cycle write it down you saw the um um february feb january february march april may keep calculating until june then stop there you have been writing all the days you saw your period and the last day before the next period you have been calculating it this way for good six months now stop what you need to do is look at your days of this your cycles okay you know how to calculate your cycle now how many days cycle did you get for these six months what is the shortest cycle what i mean is let's say january was 21 february 22 um march february march 24 let's say april is 26 may is 25 while june is maybe 27th okay this is just or even june is 30th or 32 because you have irregular periods maybe may is even 40 okay which is not that normal okay may might be 35 this is irregular okay so we are talking about irregular periods that is what we are talking about no now the shortest cycle there is 21 day cycle that is what i'm talking about out of the six different cycles that you have wrote down you have jot down the shortest one there is 21 that is where you will start we are looking at we are going to be calculating this 21 that is how you are going to find out when and where you are going to ovulate okay you also find out how like the day you start your fatal days and the end of your fatal days check and get the twin the shortest cycle that is what you are going to work on no other cycle after all the six different cycles the shortest cycle is what you are going to work on okay now we are taking 21 as the shortest cycle now what will you do the main thing you should do is take 21 remove 14 from 21 let's say 21 minus 14 i hope you have your pen please bring your pen and paper jot down all these things i'm saying it is very very important so you won't forget it okay so remove 14 from 21 you will get your ovulation day okay yes if you remove 14 from 21 what you're going to get is seven okay seven is the ovulation day seventh is your ovulation day so when 21 days in 21 day cycle is your shortest cycle after six months then seventh is your ovulation day because you've minus 14 from 21 the answer is seven which is your ovulation day i don't know i don't know how you feel now being like being able to understand your body being able to know when you are going to ovulate which is number which is seventh out of 21 day cycle irregular periods for six months the shortest cycle being 21 the ovulation day is seventh yes because you have a shorter cycle now how do you find out when how do you find out when you are going to start your uh, i mean the first the beginning of your fatal day how do you find out the beginning of your fatal day the next thing you're going to do is minus four from seven seven is our ovulation day, uh, day now remove four from seven okay remove four from seven you'll be able to get what you are the beginning of your fatal day this is when you see women say that they take in even when they are in their period because let's say you are in your period and the next time you 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 meet your your partner and then you saw your ovulation you take in and you'll be like when and how did it happen yes you might have met your partner just within the time you are still flowing like you are still seeing your blood and then after everything you find out that you're pregnant you'll be wondering it seems i took in when i was pregnant that's because you have a shorter cycle okay that's because you have a shorter cycle 
and then you are ovulating early. Now, we have found out that the beginning of your fertile window is what? Three. That kind of person might also have a, maybe three days cycle, um, three days blood flow. That your menses might be flowing for three days. You see? Or even three days under. And then you think that you're still in your menses. You don't know you've entered the beginning of your fertile window. So that is it. Now, how do we find out the end of your fertile window? How you find out the end of your fertile window is when you bring seven, add five to it. Okay? Seven plus five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's five. Okay? Twelve is the end of your fertile window. So we have successfully found that the ovulation day is seven. While the, fetal, the beginning of the fetal window is 3. And the end of the fetal window is what? 12. Okay? That is the end of your fetal window. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So that's how you calculate your second. Now, let me give you another example. What if 25 is the shortest cycle? 25 is your shortest cycle. After calculating your irregular periods for 6 months, you find out that 25. Five is the shortest day cycle that you have. Now, how do you calculate it? 25, you are going to minus 14 from 25. Okay? When you minus 14 from 25, what are, going, what are you going to get? 11, right? I hope you are with your pen and your paper, okay? When you minus 14 from 25, your answer or what you are going to get as the ovulation day is what 11 that is your ovulation day okay this is my second example that is your ovulation day 14 minus 25 14 is constant is what you're going to be using to minus whatever okay that is the day of your cycle that is the shortest day of your cycle okay remember you're talking about irregular periods okay so remove 14 minus 14 from 25 you get 11 Okay, now 11 is your ovulation day. What again are you going to do to be able to get your, the beginning of your ovulation, the, your fertile day? You remove 4 from 11. Minus 4 from 11. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That is 7. 7 is the beginning of your ovulation day. In fact, the beginning of your fertile window. Okay, your fertile window is starting from 7. So anything you're doing from seventh, you are going to be careful if you are not, if you are avoiding pregnancy. But anything you are going to do to take in, this is the time from seventh. Remember, we have found out that eleven is the ovulation day. Then you can start planning from eleven, from seventh. Okay. Now we have gotten um, eleven as our ovulation day, seven as the beginning of the uh, fertile window. Now. You are going to look for the end of your fertile day, the end of your fertile window. How you are going to do that is bring 11 plus 4, 11 plus 5, okay? 11 plus 5. I hope you are writing this things down. That is the only way you can be able to understand what I am saying. 11 plus 5, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, that is 5. 16 is the end of your fertile window. I hope this is very much clear now. Okay, so 16th is the end of your fatal window. Now, if you're planning to take in, you want to take in from 7th, 7th, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16th. That's 10 good days between, in between your, um, in your cycles. Okay, from 7th down to 16th, these are your fatal days. These are your red days if you are avoiding. But these are your fertile days, your favorable days if you are trying to cancel. Okay? This is very, very helpful. So start from that seventh down to 16th. Start baby dancing. Okay? Start doing the do this time, these five, uh, these ten days. Okay? Start, you can be able to be, let's say, you, you meet your partner on 11, uh, on seventh. Sit, you stay calm, okay? If you don't have the strength for that, you can be, you know, just plan yourself from 7th to um, 16th. These are your 
fertile window. These are your fertile window. So it's about 10 days. So if you have irregular periods, don't start thinking, how do I manage? Like, it's going to be difficult, this and that. This is exactly how you should do it. First, calculate your cycle for six months. Second, use the shortest cycle. Remove 14 from the shortest cycle. Okay, minus um, 14 from the sh shortest cycle, you get your ovulation day. Then, minus 4 from your ovulation day, you get the beginning of your fertile window. Okay, now, add 5 to your ovulation day, you get the end of your fertile window. I hope this is very clear. Okay, so if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Okay, if you are wishing to take in soon, I wish you so much luck. Okay. I wish you luck. If you follow this diligently and be able to do the right thing at this 10 day space, I believe by God's grace, if you don't have any issues, then you are going to take in. Okay. This is also the time you should, if you have irregular periods, this is this space of time is when you should also find out if you are actually ovulating or not. Okay. If you are actually ovulating or not. This is the period you should find out because around these 10 days, you can get your ovulation um, kit. That's the ovulation strip, and then start testing around this time to know if you're progressing, if you have ever reached your peak, and all that. So, it is a, a very important thing for a woman to understand her, her cycle, okay, and what can they have with your cycle. You see that nothing will get, take you that. Uh, so, that's it for today's video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And uh, see you guys in my next video.